ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, I take the honor and privilege of informing you that His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Uganda, has arrived. Katenja ure ruo, erintu bokola akata une kama korero. Buli korero, luka za sabanti chukumi, bivili, bisatu. Kate amatauni gama korero gazare mirimo mingi okusinga buli obutanu wa fobwedda obobuduka kati buna buna olira ekiroze ekyo nimba ita nti ah mujje mujje ate waliwo omuntu wa fe alnetaka dene Awo au unebariza general sarej general sarej arina garubindi ezirengera bulungi business emabega kawo yagula etakalino Okuwa ku East Mengo. Yangamba kwa ntizijewa nunile wo, ni munga matineda, nze nunile wa kituwa ne ikisozi. Ni munga matineda, ritereke, tigenda kufuna omunga so kusinga wo. Katibu na afuna wano, mamu siga nsimbi, Nimba kwa taganya. Gema kwa rogo na katige mula ba. Kuwanga wano, walu weta kadene, eritari kumpaka, katubano kwe kuja, ngabwe muri de, ama kwa rogo gali makumi ya satu, Aviri muri mo amakoro gakwada gakola umwenda bacha zima wengine jaga la kuwa baza abantu baviri oksoka jenosare okteleke taka nuno hicho kuviri. Kwa waza wa msika nsimbi, kuwanga buenabaita bajira o. Katumula wa emiaka, miaka mnana, simi inji. Na yeka ti embela, baichu sada wano, embela ya chuki la dara, yeka peka. Tunja kala kwa waza, Bamsiga nsimbi abajja mbakubiru ku mungalo What I was telling our people here first was a joke that when it rains and then the but there is also sun, sunshine it means a hyena is wedding somewhere You saw when it was raining here it was also shining. That means somewhere in Muyenje, Oveyo, Mundeyo, and Piseva de Wasa. This is just a village, village superstition. Now, the other point was the parable in the Bible of the sower. The one who went to, to, to sow, some of the seeds fell on the rock and didn't germinate. Others fell in the thorns and they deteriorated, but some fell on, on good ground and multiplied. And Kapeka is one of them. The seeds fell on fertile ground. And I want to thank 
my, my words, because, I, because when I was in China, when I met this governor of the province of the northeast of China, and he was talking about industrial parks, I think that's how I said, no, I know where there's land where you can have an industrial park. I think that's how I linked him with Jano Saleh. But as you have seen, in nine years, not a long time, they have already trans translated the idea into reality. I want to thank Jano Saleh and also thank the Chinese investors. Thank you so much. Jano Saleh had bought this land from East Mengo. When we were fighting here, there was a coffee factory. I think they were also growing some pineapples, I remember. And it was being managed by Chofa, the father of our minister now. That's how I remember Namungekera doing the war. There was also a ginery, a cotton ginery down there near the barracks, near Khan City. So, General Sare, when he bought this land, at one time he wanted me to come and uh, farm here, I, but I said, no, let me farm where I am. You keep that land for greater use. So I want to thank General Sare for his foresight in getting this land, which came in handy when we wanted where to put an industrial park. Now, regarding the, the products which are being produced here, we are going to protect them by tax. I don't know why that should be a problem. Anything that is being manufactured here, we are going to put a tax on, on rival products which are coming from outside the East African community. I don't know why that one is a problem. I'm going to meet, I want my staff to call the invest investors for a meeting so that we discuss and agree on how I can support them by policy, by policy. Now, on the issue of supporting the farmers to supply goods to the agro-industries here, I'm ready to give you the four point something billion, but in the new financial year, not now, in the new financial year, because I don't want to, I don't want to kutomera in the middle of the year. But in the new financial year, I will give you the four point billion you, you want for the circle for the farmers. They, didn't, they have not taken advantage of the many factories which are in the former rural triangle which was a war zone, but now it's full of factories from Kawanda, Matuga, Migade, Gombe, Sanga, Wakiso, all those are our war zones. Here, Kapeka, they are full of factories. Those factories have a lot of, of employees they have needs, like food needs, but of course they also need raw materials. And I was giving them the example that in, in Raiktura, when I sell a liter of milk, sometimes they pay me 500 shillings, a liter of milk. But people like my former pri late Prime Minister Sivandi, who are near Kampara, they will be getting 2,000 shillings per liter. Why? Because they are near a big market. 
Yet my milk is much better than this one being sold near Kampala. But because I have the disadvantage of being far. So I was telling these people, who is this one who, who diverts you? And you, do, you don't listen to the NRM message, and you don't use these advantages which the NRM has created for you. If you see the factories in Namanzi, this that one was a forest. So the people in Mukono, why can they not benefit a lot from selling food, vegetables, raw materials, to all those numerous factories? There has been the issue of land, but I told them that the land issue was settled in the CA. We provided that the landlord is, cannot evict, a Chivanja owner cannot re reduce, deduct from his Chivanja, and that the, 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 the rent has got a ceiling, and the rent is nominal, not commercial. So, Whoever is mis evicting people, it must be because the local leaders don't defend these people who are not, who are not educated. But we are going to enter into the matter and see. So I want to thank again General Saleh and uh, our investors for developing the Namunkekera industrial park, and I'm going to meet both the, 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 the investors and the, the committee of the necessary to hear what ideas they have. Thank you very much. With these ones, I declare the Moreso open. The show. Your Excellency, the success of this industrial park, therefore, is an inspiration and reminder to us all of what is possible in our country if we all listen to your message and closely study the book authored by General Salim Saleh titled Musevenomin Mix. Musebenomics. Your Excellency, for a long time, Uganda was, as you are, have always reminded us, I open quote, the supermarket of the world. I close quote. Fellow Ugandan, you will bear with me witness that this trade show and bazaar has confirmed that the NRM and His Excellency, the President's diagnosis of the problems affecting our economy is right. And what is also true is that His Excellency, the President's prescription of the solution to the problems affecting our economy is very right. Your Excellency, at this industrial park, we have companies which have already been enumerated by the manager. Quite clearly, it is evident that we are surely making impressive progress in our import substitution strategy. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me on all your behalf extend special appreciation to His Excellency, General Yoweri Kaguta Museveni, whose visit to China in 2015 inspired the collaboration between Uganda and China's Lyoning province and eventually the Namukenkera Lyoshen Industrial Park here. Your Excellency, Every vision bearer and visionary leader requires a team of committed, ideologically well-oriented leaders to execute the strategy and mission. To that end, 
allow me, ladies and gentlemen, at this juncture, in a special way, to thank General Salim Saleh, who piloted the Namkenkera Rural Industrial Centre model to kickstart systematic, effective national economic transformation. Through his patriotic and resilient efforts, this industrial park has transformed Kapeka. And Your Excellency, General Salim Saleh, in his simple way, whenever we visit him in his home up there, I visited him, I think, twice, he has recorded all the products and the activities that take place in this industrial park. And when you visit him, you can see what happened in this industrial park within a minute. So it's very important that we thank him for expeditiously implementing the directive of His Excellency the President up to the logical conclusion. At one point, I found that I wanted to sell this place, and His Excellency told him, please don't sell this land, he's always selling us. And he obstructed him from selling it off or putting any other thing that was not going to be, be developmental. And he told him, I see in a few years we shall have a big industrial park here, so we can see the success as I speak. As I speak, we have 19 factories under operation, and other nine factories are still under construction, which makes it 28 factories. We believe in two years' time we shall have achieved all the factories 28 under operation. In the office of uh, General Saleh, I'm, the, I'm in charge of tours for general visitors uh, to tour around the industrial park. And I've always been seeing most factories producing products and they get stuck there. They stay camp, they, they, they produce and sell, but most factories are not are selling while piling in one place. So we thought of making this trade show, it's the reason we are here, to sell Kapeka Industrial Park nationwide and internationally. Let people know what we are doing in this place, and they stop importing products from outside, yet we are doing them here. Excellency, being a vision bearer, you made this happen after the state visit to the People's Republic of China in March 2015, and also held a meeting with the vice governor of the Liaoning province and agreed on a cooperation in investment through establishing an industrial park in Uganda and to attract global investment to manufacture and export to the vast opportunities in the regional markets overseas and China to address the trade imbalances. Your Excellency, this industrial park is a hybrid of agro and manufacturing a blended dream of General Salim Saleh of creating market for agro production products and that of foreign direct investment. These two together with service delivery complement each other and what is celebrated here today is a testament. Mudesh is from 2016 12 December, once your foundation 2017 September, the first factory is entering. Up to now, we have 30 factories, 21 in the operating, 9 under construction. So we had factory, two ceramics factories, one is for tiles, one is for ceramic toilet seat, and we have the five food production factories, the meat flowers, dry fruits, cooking oils, sweets, and the snacks factory. We have the four shoes factories, the slippers, lady shoes, canvas. And uh, we have the five textile factories. So is the bed seats, the working clothes, sports uniforms, school parks, socks, knickers. So I think now, today, let me tell you what I promised you on 2015, we're going to start in the park. And uh, up to today, the first phase, one square mile, 30 factories, we are done. So we are moving to second phase, one more square mile, 
four is next year, beginning next year. So thank you. And uh, today, I don't want to say a lot because the, all the product is outside, and you're going to open this seal, and we already informed all the factories. We give the factory price, sell to their products today and tomorrow. And uh, sir, finally, I want thanks for you. Thanks for starting this place with the business is the industry city. Thank you. You've been taking care of us 